What's going on guys, Mr. Miller815 here, and today I'll be doing my follow-up review for the Craft Holsters Open Top Inside the Waistband Lynx Holster. Uh, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and like and comment on this video so I can keep bringing you guys content. Again, this is that Open Top uh, Inside the Waistband Craft Holsters. This is their Lynx is what they call it. Um, guys, I'm a huge fan of this brand. This this leather is outstanding. The quality, the workmanship, everything about this is is amazing. Um, I can't I can't stress how enough how much I like these guys. Their customer service is top notch, and their holsters are so so well made. Um, as far as leather goes, if you don't have one and you want one go to their website and order one immediately. These things are amazing. So let me hop right into it. The five point necessities that I believe every holster should have. Um, starting with number one being the trigger guard. As always, there is no round in the chamber. There is no magazine. This is a clear and safe firearm. So as you see, the trigger guard is completely covered. This holster is outstanding with that. There is no uh, issues whatsoever. You can't even really see the trigger guard itself. Um, no issues, guys. This, uh, this leather is very sturdy, very, very, very rigid. This is a great, great holster for, you know, trigger guard coverage and safety. So as far as trigger guard goes, this 100% passes. Uh, as far as retention, obviously it being leather, there is no click retention or adjustable retention. This is just molded specifically for your firearm. Um, right now, this thing is outstanding. It actually took a little while to get this gun in here, get used to it, get it broken in. But uh, once it's in there, guys, this thing is in there. It is not going anywhere until you need to draw it. Um, being that it's molded to your specific firearm and they have a huge selection of firearms. So there's definitely a chance you're going to find something that you guys want, um, you know, Retention wise, this thing is is outstanding. This leather is great. They do a really great job with these things. Uh, my only only complaint as far as that goes, um, as you see here, there is really not a lot of room between the grip of your pistol and the the holster itself. Granted, there is a, a an aftermarket grip on this Glock. Um, so I don't know if this would be an issue, you know, without it, or if, uh, you know, you have a different size pistol. This is a Glock 21. This thing is a giant hand cannon for you, for you, for those of you that know anything about these. Uh, it's a big, big old 45. This thing's a tank. Um, so I don't know if that's the issue or it's just how they are made. But my only complaint with this is that it's hard to get your grip up there properly, but you can definitely do it. Um, just know that, you know, I kind of wish that this was cut a little bit lower. So um, other than that, though, guys, retention wise, this absolutely passes. Just again, this this little bit of grip would be my only complaint. If I had to complain about something, that would be it. So let me slip this on, guys. I'll go over the rest of the review for you. Uh, concealability, comfort, value, all that good stuff. And then I will be right back with you. Okay, guys, let's talk concealability. As always, I do carry it about 4 o'clock. Um, this is honestly not that bad for it being such a big pistol. This thing conceals pretty well. This is probably going to be another one that you want to wear during the winter time. Granted, yes, this is a Glock 21. This is as big as a gun gets that you're going to carry. So I don't know how well this would conceal with a smaller pistol, you know, even a uh, subcompact or a compact, like a 19 or something. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive if you have one of those, you probably won't have any printing issues. This is just a very big firearm, so don't, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But uh, as far as concealability goes, for being as big as this gun is, as big as the holster is, definitely conceals, definitely passes that. Uh, as far as comfort goes, this might be one of the most comfortable inside the waistband holsters I've ever had, minus the, like, you know, outside of the Alien Gear stuff, uh, just because of how wide and how distributed the weight is on this holster. Um, this thing's very, very comfortable. The leather's so, so... Uh, so nice that you really don't feel it. Granted, yes, I do wear with a undershirt on, so it's never really touching my skin, but it's a very comfortable holster, guys, sitting, walking around, driving for a long time. It's very comfortable. The gun doesn't dig into your sides or anything like that. Um, my only complaint with this holster being inside the waistband is that sometimes these snaps like to come undone, which is obviously not something that you want in a, in a holster. Um, 
again, with a grain of salt because my belt has Kydex reinforced, so it's a bit thicker, so that might be interfering with the snaps. Um, but I, I kind of wish there was another locking mechanism for them. But outside of that, I mean, it doesn't happen often, but it did happen, which is something to keep in the back of your mind. Uh, as far as value goes, 75 bucks, guys. Premium Italian leather holster. I mean, for $75, you're really not, not in bad shape there whatsoever. Uh, the quality alone speaks for itself. So um, I like these guys, craft holsters. You know, they, they're out of Slovakia. It's a great company. Customer service is outstanding. The ship time are, you know, very short. I've received holsters in a week, I think, maybe two weeks at most for one of them. Um, you know, the, the quality of their product, the workmanship, everything, guys, it speaks for itself. So definitely go check them out. Um, you know, you, you won't regret it. Like I said, for $75, if you're looking for a good quality leather holster, uh, you know, this is definitely the way to go. So Stay tuned, guys. Uh, ring that notification bell. I'll have that on your six stuff coming uh, next week. I know I've been talking about the uh, the Bushnell uh, optic. I will be doing that this weekend. That will be posted on Monday. I promise you. Um, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff I got coming in. Um, and then I got one. I think it's hybrid holsters or. Yeah, it is. Hybrid holsters. I got a whole bunch from them. I'll be doing here in the next couple of days. So just stay tuned with everything that I'm doing, guys. But until then, as always, stay vigilant.